Hey, middle school students, Mrs. Bellum here with your March Disability Awareness Month book talk. In Minnesota, about 14% of students and adults live with a disability. This might be a physical disability, an intellectual disability, or a learning disability. I have several books to feature that will show you what it feels like to be a student living with a particular disability. Our first title is called Focused by Alison Gerber. Clea can't control her thoughts. She knows she has to do her homework. She gets distracted. She knows she can't just say whatever thought comes into her head, but sometimes she can't help herself. She knows she needs to focus, but how can she fix a problem that is all in her head? Learn what it feels like to have attention deficit disorder by reading Focused in the white dot section, call number G-E-R. Next up is the Joey Pixa series by Jack Gantos, also in the white section. Joey Pixa can't sit still. He can't pay attention, he can't follow the rules, and he can't help it, especially when his ADHD meds aren't working. Joey knows he's a really good kid, but no matter how hard he tries to do the right thing, Something always seems to go wrong. Will he ever get anything right? Our third title is in the Lime Dot Mystery section, starring Mason Buttle. He is the biggest, sweatiest kid in his grade, and everyone knows he can barely read or write. Mason's learning disability is compounded by grief. Fifteen months ago, Mason's best friend, Benny Kilmartin, turned up dead in the Buttle family's orchard. Mason thinks he knows what happened. Will the adults listen to him before it's too late? Our next title is Save Me a Seat by Sarah Weeks and Gita Varadarajan. Joe has an auditory processing disorder and is missing his best friend. Ravi's family has just moved to America from India and he's struggling to figure out where he fits in. When Joe and Ravi are targeted by the same bully, they discover just how much they have in common and how to survive school together. You can find this in the white section, call number W-E-E. -E. Next is the Out of My Mind series and its new sequel, Out of My Heart, by Sharon M. Draper in the white section. Melody is not like most people. She can't walk. She can't talk. She can't write. All because she has cerebral palsy. But she also has a photographic memory. She can remember every detail of everything she has ever experienced. Follow Melody's journey as she finds her voice and shows her classmates just how smart she really is. Another fan favorite is the Girl Stolen series in the Lime Dot Mystery section by April Henry. When an impulsive carjacking turns into a kidnapping, Griffin, a high school dropout, finds himself more in sympathy with his wealthy, blind victim, 16-year-old Cheyenne, than he does with his greedy father that initiated the kidnapping. Next is a graphic novel called El Defo, written and illustrated by C.C. Bell. Starting a new school is scary, especially with a giant hearing aid strapped to your chest. At her old school, everyone in C.C.'s class was deaf. Here, she's different. She's sure the kids are staring at the phonic ear, the powerful cochlear implant that will help her hear her teacher. Too bad it also seems certain to repel potential friends. Fans of sports books will enjoy The Running Dream in the Purple Section by Wendelin Vendrinen. When a school bus accident leaves 16-year-old Jessica an amputee, she returns to school with a prosthetic limb, and her track team finds a way to help her rekindle her dream of running again. Another story featuring prosthetic limbs is The Cinder Series by Marissa Meyer in the Black Dot Sci-Fi Section. Humans and androids crowd the raucous streets of New Beijing. From space, a ruthless lunar people watch, waiting to make their move. Cinder, a gifted mechanic, is a cyborg. She's a second-class citizen with a mysterious past. When her life becomes intertwined with the handsome Prince Kai, she finds herself at the center for an intergalactic struggle. Next is The Someday Birds by Sally J. Pla in the white dot section. Charlie, 12, who has autism and obsessive compulsive disorder, must endure a cross-country trip with his siblings and a strange babysitter to visit their father, 
who will undergo brain surgery. Our next series is Insignificant Events in the Life of a Cactus by Dusty Bowling in the white section. Avon's new life takes an unexpected turn when she moves across the country and bonds with Connor, a classmate who also feels isolated because of his own disability. They discover a room at Stagecoach Pass that holds bigger secrets than Avon could ever have imagined. It's hard to solve a mystery, help a friend, and face your worst fears without arms. Our next story is Real by Carol Kujek and Peyton Goddard. Call number CUJ in the white section. Sometimes Charity cannot control her body because she has low functioning autism. Charity cannot communicate her thoughts to anyone else, even though she feels all the frustrations, fears, and doubts of a typical 13 year old. Next is How We Roll by Natasha Friend in the pink section. After developing alopecia, Quinn lost her friends along with her hair, and former football player Jake lost his legs and confidence after an accident. But the two help each other believe in themselves and the possibility of love. Next is Scar by J. Albert Mann in call number 973.3 in the green dot section. Noah Daniels wants nothing more than to fight in George Washington's army but an accident as a child ruined his leg and left him unable to enlist. He must watch the American Revolution from the sidelines of his family farm until a violent raid on his settlement thrusts him into one of the bloodiest battles of the war and face to face with the enemy. Our final title is the 2022 Newberry Award winner, The Last Quintista by Dona Barra Higuera. There lived a girl named Petra Peña who wanted nothing more than to be a storyteller like her abuelita. But Petra's world is ending. Earth has been destroyed by a comet. Only a few hundred scientists and their children have been chosen to journey to a new planet. Petra must hide her worsening visual disability or face a horrific punishment. You can find even more titles in Destiny Discover in the collections area. Look for characters and authors living with physical disabilities or the neurodivergent and differently abled characters list.